Now a bit of glue, and I'll put in the last leg. <laughs> What you doing, Unc? Leading the band? Never mind the jokes, Freddy. Just grab those pliers and get this stick off. Come on! We'll help! Everyone will have to pull! Come on! Pull! Pull! Harder! It's loosening. <laughs> <laughs> now this last leg, and the job is done. Papa! Squire Grizzly just phoned. He wants you to go over to his mansion right away. Squire Grizzly? Wow, he's the richest bear in bear country. And he said it was extremely urgent. Hmm, wonder what he wants to see me about. Thanks for letting us come along. Yeah, Papa. I can't wait to see all the great stuff in the Grizzly Mansion. Hey, where are you going, huh? How come you're driving around the back? Oh, Lady Grizzly's very strict. Nobody's allowed to go in the front door. Not even Squire Grizzly. Uh, good day. Hiya. Who shall I say is calling? It sounds like Lady Grizzly. Hurry. Something's wrong. Let's go. Oh, I fear faint. Oh. We'll help. There you go. Careful now. Hello. Uh, do you feel better, my dear? Feel better? How can I after our dreadful burglary? You mean something's been stolen? Three somethings. They're priceless antiques. My great aunt's writing desk, an exquisite love seat, and a pepper mill. It's been in my family for generations. Now, now, my dear. You mustn't upset yourself. Stolen antiques. Without question, this is a job for the Bear Detectives. And yours truly, Papa Q Bear. Don't worry. We'll crack this case. That's part of the problem, Papa Q Bear. These pieces are badly cracked and... Speak up, speak up, Squire Grizzly. This is no time for understatement. Super Sleuth Papa Q Bear at your service. Why, I remember the time I teamed up with a great Sherlock Grizzly to look for the crown jewels of England. Found them on the Queen's head. You better whistle up your sniffer hound snuff. We're gonna need him bad. No problem. <whistles> good boy. Good, but not good enough. For I have already solved the crime. The butler did it. But... But, but, uh... No but, but, Butler. I suspected you from the beginning. Uh, Papa, where's your evidence? Not necessary. It's a well-known fact of law that all butlers are presumed guilty until proven innocent. Rubbish! Our butler couldn't have done it because he doesn't do anything. Right, Grisby? Yes, Mum. He's much too old and frail. Why, I even got to bring him his tea. Your tea and scones, Grisby. Uh, thank you, Mum. Hmm, that is food for thought. And uh, speaking of food... <laughs> we better start looking for clues. Yeah, before Unc really botches things up. I say, is all this quite necessary? Perhaps it would be better if... These old mansions are tricky, full of sliding walls and secret passageways. A natural haven for thieves. Find any clues yet? Nope. Hmm, what's this stuff? Strange. Wonder what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's sneezing powder. Nonsense. It's merely peppercorn from the pepper mill. You see, at tea time, Lady Grizzly always grinds pepper on her cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> wow, what a whopper. Aha, uh -huh. just as I suspected. A secret panel leading to a secret passageway. All right. Where is it? Yeah. Shh. I'm going in. Cubs, I want you to stay outside and cover me. Whoa! Help! We're coming! Hang in there, Unc! Hurry! Get him off! 
You are covered, Papa, with coats and hats. And this isn't any secret passageway. It's a clothes closet. I told you this place was tricky. It's hopeless. How could anyone be so evil and wicked to steal my most precious possessions? I'm sure it'll all work out, my dear. You simply have got to keep your chins up. Oh, I'm feeling faint. Dad's not again. Sit down here. I'll get you a glass of water. Leave everything to us. The bear detectives have a perfect record. We haven't failed yet. You're my only hope. Snuff's picking up a scent. Now we're getting somewhere. <gasps> Lady Grizzly, where'd she go? She's disappeared. This is getting scary. Not only is the furniture gone, now Lady Grizzly's missing. Find the squire and break the news. Right. And a dog? Even the cleverest criminal cannot escape from your nose and my brain. <laughs> Whoa! Wait for us! Hmm, it's Squire Grizzly's trophy room. What's the matter, Snuff? He's probably catching a cold. This place is so drafty. We've got big trouble. I looked all over. I can't find Squire Grizzly anywhere! Tut tut, no need to panic. I'm sure Butler Grisby knows where. The butler's disappeared too! <laughs> you know what that means. Uh huh. It, it means we're all alone in this creepy mansion. Alone? Except for a f f f f fiendish antique thief. Yikes! <laughs> Painting, it's... Shh, not now. Snuff's hot on the scent again. <laughs> you hear that? It's coming from the painting. <laughs> Yay! Let's get out of here. Hurry! <laughs> I think we lost him. Whoa! Wonder why Snuff's sneezing so much. I've got an idea, and I don't think it's because he's got a cold. Eureka! I found them! The priceless antiques. Feast your eyes on that! All right! Get out the flashlight! I don't believe it. The writing desk, the pepper mill, and the love seat. Yeah, they're antiques, all right. In fact, their condition is deplorable. You can say that again. They look like they're in serious need of repair. But what are they doing in this old shed? And we still don't know who stole them or why. <laughs> huh? Who's... <laughs> Squire Grizzly! I thought so. It was a trail of pepper that made Snuff sneeze. A trail left by Squire Grizzly himself. See? They're grains of pepper. I say, it appears I have a hole in my pocket. It's true. I took Lady Grizzly's antiques. In my haste, I dumped the pepper from the mill into my pocket. But why? I, I don't understand. I'll explain everything while we're loading the furniture into your car. Huh? And you're sure you can have them ready by this weekend? Well, no problem, but why didn't you tell me all this in the first place? I planned to, but then Lady Grizzly returned early from her vacation and discovered the missing furniture. I say, uh, it appears Lady Grizzly has almost found her way out of the secret passageways. Quick, leave. Well, remember, above all, it must be a surprise. What a delightful surprise! Happy birthday, dear! You see, they weren't stolen. I was simply sending them out for repairs. 
You are a master crafts bear indeed. My antiques are as good as new. No problem. Just a couple of coats of shellac and glue, three grades of sandpaper, finishing nails. Well, Snuff, another unsolvable case solved by the bear detective. Ah, ah, ah,